Hello everyone! I finally got around to doing another card video and for today's video I am using Stampin' Bella's Uptown Girl Eve Under the Mistletoe. This challenge for Bellarific Friday was a sketch challenge and you could see there for a minute I had my phone um, in the corner of the screen. I just take a picture of the, whatever sketch I'm working on and then I can just have it on my desk and refer to it as necessary. So I'm using that as my guide. So I have everything kind of pre-cut. I did this before even turning on the camera because it just saves time for editing purposes and all that fun stuff. And I die cut or cut down some pattern paper and different cardstock. And I've stamped this image onto some CC Designs Cobalt Quality 110 pound cardstock with My Favorite Things Black Licorice Hybrid Ink. And then coloring her in with Copic markers and not doing anything at all groundbreaking. I'm doing my go-to color combos for everything. So for the skin that's E50, E21, and E13. And always working lightest to darkest and then blending everything back out by working to the lightest again. So once I got her skin all colored in I add a little bit of R20 to her cheeks and then I just blended that out just a little bit with the E50 just so that there wasn't like you know harsh little circles there. So blended that out and then for her hair, um, just E25, 27, and 29, my again go-to combo for dark hair. And I like to flip the image around, um, especially when doing something like with short hair and you kind of want the like little brush strokes to show, it really helps to move the image around to get things going the way you want to so you're not kind of fighting the image. Doesn't work as well for filming, but it works well for coloring. <laughs> So got that again working lightest to darkest and then back and then her dress um, normally I would paper piece it because obviously I like to paper piece pretty much anything when it's a stamping Bella girl um, but I decided I was going to paper piece her dress because I had some red pattern paper that would look really cute but I thought for once I'd color it and of course I wanted to color it a really nice red so I started with R24 and reds can be finicky you have to be careful with them they just no matter what I did I still had a little bit seeping through the lines especially on her arms because you know they're so fine but I started with the lightest which was my R24 and then I went in with R27 to add the darker areas and then finally R29 which is my darkest and this combo for me is one of the best that could because they blend really well so I don't have to saturate it as much but again it's red red is just kind of a bear to color with regardless of the type of marker or anything it's just red red ink likes to go everywhere so again lightest to darkest and then back to the lightest to blend everything nicely together and then for her belt I'm making it black of course or close to black so I'm doing c5 c8 and c10 because if you went to just straight black you lose any sort of definition there so got that, blended it out, and then if I had been thinking and not in a hurry, I would have let that completely dry before adding this yellow, um, just because it kind of bleeds into each other when you do that. You can't really tell again on camera, thankfully. In real life, I could see it, but I'm going to cover that anyway, so I didn't worry about it. And then colored in the mistletoe, which I just used G07, no other colors, because it's just tiny little dots. And then just my R27 to dot in little berries. And then finally I took my BG quadruple zero and I used that to put just a little bit of that really, you know, really, really pale blue onto the white areas. It makes everything look more white. Plus I can use it to kind of push back any bit of little um, red that's kind of seeped over the lines where it's not supposed to. And then I did the same thing with my warm grays here that I had shading with. Um, I'm able to use those to, again, kind of push back that little bit of marker. You can't see it on camera. In real life you can, but it's, it's not that bad. But I fix what I can and then the rest I don't worry about. So I used W1 for the shading and then I took my W00 just to blend it out and soften it. Nothing too harsh or crazy just to give it that little bit of extra depth but not too difficult. And then for my pattern paper this is a really old. This is the My Mind's Eye 12 Days of Christmas. I think it came out a couple years ago. I don't even know. I honestly don't have any new Christmas paper packs. I have an order coming right away. I can't even remember if I ordered any new Christmas paper. I've just, yeah, kind of missed the boat on everything it seems. So I dug through my old stash and found these papers. And just following the layout. Um, looking back on this editing now, if I, well, even when I was putting this card together, but it was too late. As I'm putting on this big strip of pattern paper, I wish I had cut around the edge of her dress there so that it went over the pattern paper. That would have just finished off the card and looked 
a lot better. The sketch was a little bit difficult to work with and I'm so frustrated because her dress, it would have looked perfect if the edge of her dress was actually up on top of the pattern paper. So, eh. But with it all adhered down, I was not going to rip apart all those layers to try and do that. It just would have taken too long and yeah, I just went with it. So, decided to add some ribbon to it and this is my, one of my go-to favorites, the Mayart's um, two-tone texture ribbons that if you've watched my videos for any length of time, like I've been obsessed with this ribbon for eons. So grabbed the green and added that and then decided to add just three little enamel dots. So just my doodlebug, ladybug, limeade, and bubblegub. Um, one of each. Sorry, my voice is a little fuzzy. It's getting really late. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> so did all that. And then my card base was a five and a half inch square card. So five and a half by 11 inches piece of cardstock scored at five and a half. And that's, that'll give you a good idea of the size of the stamp too. Like this is a huge stamp. That stamp is like a six inches high. So that was, that's why I chose it for this sketch because it's such a big card. I was able to use most of the image and then I stamp it again on the inside and here you can see how, yeah, it's a six inch stamp. It's really big. So it's fun for coloring and stuff though. So stamped it on the inside with Memento Ladybug ink and then the sentiment comes with this stamp. So I'm using my stamp positioner to make sure I get it straight and I'm just inking that up with the same um, My Favorite Things Black Licorice Hybrid Ink. And then that's it for the inside, keeping it simple. And then of course I had to add some bling to the outside image. I want to do this last though so that I didn't get stickles and smear everything. I'm using Christmas red stickles on her dress and just doing little tiny dots so that one, I don't cover up all the coloring I did. And two, this dries way faster than glopping on like a solid layer of stickles because that would take all night to dry and I didn't have that time. So did that. And then for the white areas, I added frosted lace stickles. I was originally going to add um, liquid applique to all these parts, but like I said, I was in a hurry and a liquid applique looks best if you apply it, let it dry completely on its own overnight and then hit it with the heat tool. And I didn't have time for that. So I just used the frosted lace stickles just to give that little bit of texture. And then I pulled out my Krylon gold leafing pen and I had to fiddle with it a bit just to get the color flowing in it because I've had it for some time and it's kind of starting to dry out. And again, if I'd had the time and I was thinking I wanted to, I would have used like a tiny paintbrush or something to kind of add it because it's more meant for edging the edges of cardstock and that sort of thing, um, not like painting a small area like this. I just wanted to cover her belt buckle with it and give it some shimmer, but I made it work. <laughs> so that was it for the finished card. There will be links below the video to the supplies used and to my blog post. So make sure to check those out below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping my videos. And I hopefully will see you soon in another one. Bye.